Hey everybody, welcome into this new video of TechPress. I'm going to be showing you really, really easy how we can connect our actual Google phones, how we can add this into Google Sites. It's going to be really, really easy, but in order to continue, what I wanted to do is to show you how we can do this by adding a Google Sites first. So, for example, here, I have here my Kindle discount, for example. This is a website that I have created with Google uh, Sites. So what I wanted to do is to scroll all my way down. And here, what I wanted to do uh, is to hit into, let's say, sign up or I want to collaborate. So for that, I'm going to hit now into adding a text box or I can add just like a button. For example, here, I'm going to go here and here I have the linked. So inside my link, I'm going to add a new page or I'm going to just hit into insert. I'm going to cancel this, of course, I'm going to hit now into pages and here I wanted to add the contact form and hit into done. All right. So here into context form, I want to choose apply or a apply here, right? So now what I wanted to do is to hit here like a summary, a form inside Google so people can get started here. So in order to do this, what I wanted to do is to do this into two ways. So the first way of how I can do this is to look out for our Google Forms in here directly where it says insert into the upper side and look out for forms. So now here into forms is going to be appearing to all our forms that we have cre recently created. So if you haven't created any contact form, we can get started with a new one. And for that, I'm going to open a new tab and you're going to type docs.google.com fast forward slash forms. So in here, as you can see, here is our my, my recent forms. So let's get started with a blank. So now it's going to be asking uh, what are the elements you wanted to add inside uh, Google Docs. So for example, here, let's say apply to be a partner. So in here, I'm going to go for this survey is going to help us to see if you are a strong candidate like that. And here I have question number one enter your full name for example and now i can use to make this as a short answer a paragraph multiple choices checkbox drop down uh, upload a file for example in my case and specifically speaking about full name let's go for short answer now i wanted to enable the one that says required and this one is going to be yes or yes required in order to continue right so now i'm going to focus into the right part that says add a question and here let's say enter or hit into your age go to answer required so we can do this like the whole time i'm going to go with add question let's go with upload your resume here and instead of going with multiple choice, let's go for file upload. There we go. So I'm going to go into continue. Upload your resume here. Allow only specific file types. So I'm going to enable this and let's go for document, PDF, presentation, and spreadsheet. So maximum file size, 10 megabytes. Maximum number of files, 5. Required, of course. I'm going to add a new question and here explain why you why you are a strong candidate and here it says paragraph there you go i'm gonna hit now into required and there we go so lastly what i just wanted to do is to go into responses and settings make this a quiz i don't want to enable this i have all of these elements already been added correctly so if this one actually looks great I just want to hit into send. And now, as you can see, we have send via email. We can use a link or we can use an MBIM HTML. So um, I'm going to hit now into copy this link. I'm going to hit into X. Here into the upper side says all changes saved in drive. So now what I can do is to go back into the upper side and make sure that my actual form is available in here. So it says untitled forms. Let's go for partner. 
of Kendo. There we go. So this one should be now saved. It. I'm going to go back. Partner of Kendo. So he's going to select my Kendo um, form. I'm going to hit now into insert. And there we go. So now what is left to be done is just to move everything like this. So this is how it should be appearing. Apply to be a partner. So this herb is going to help us to see how strong candidate you are. So there you go. So now what I want to do is just to um, hit now into publish. I'm going to hit where it says publish here. This is how it should be looking my draft. So hit into publish. All right. So I just need to reload my page. Apply to become a partner with us. Apply here and apply to be a partner. Fill out the form. And there we go. This one should be sending us right directly into the actual form of our uh, custom form inside our actual website. If you want to have the form inside your website, it's going to be really, really important that you don't have this kind of questions. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit hard to add those. So I'm going to just delete this part like that. And here, what I can do is to hit what it says embeamed. So this embeamed code, you need to copy this one go back into your Kindle editor and go back into your Google editor. And here I'm going to go into my pages, into my contact form. And here, for example, I'm going to just delete this one. I'm going to go into insert and focus into inbeamed. I'm going to go with inbeamed code. I paste my inbeamed code and hit into next. And now just wait until the partner has been added hit into insert there you go so lastly hit once again is published and you're ready to go so with that being said guys this is how we can do the actual integration of google forms into your google site reload your page so you can check it out how it's going to be looking your new google forms and there you go so with that being said guys i hope that reached into the very end of the video now don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing shows of how i can get started here into google sites and google forms thank you once again for watching the video guys See you next time.